Hello everyone, David here. Well, it's happening. The World Body Painting Festival starts today and there's a kind of nervous excitement in the air. It's very cool. Um, it's just gone 10 in the morning. All of the artists are getting ready in the festival grounds and I'm packed with my approximately three tons of camera equipment, tripods and lights and all sorts of other things. Uh, let's go and have a look. When I was finishing my school, I was just falling in love by seeing body painting on photos from an artist from the 70s. Verushka from Leindorf was my inspiration to think about what could I do to make this art from this photo alive. And uh, so I started to think about inviting people uh, to come and paint uh, in a park, in a public park. It was a very little village with like two, three thousand people living there and in the center of the village there is a monastery. Uh, and I chose this monastery and I asked the mayor if I could use that for painting. And he like, yeah. And then I did body painting and they said like, no. <laughs> so that was like a little, like public problems with politics and people who would not understand or don't understand this art form. And the second year I thought like, oh, okay, if I, if, I, if I keep continuing and the feedback of the artists back then it was really good, um, I, I, I thought about a competition because, you know, everybody says like faster, further, prices, is there a price? And so I decided to think about how can you judge body painting in a competition ever since I fell in love with this art form and I tried to listen to the artists, uh, what they like to make them comfortable, to make them enjoyable to travel from abroad to Austria, to this little village and, uh, and enjoy some time, experiment. Uh, and try things out. I, I assumed that people do uh, body painting piece of art once. Oh no, I, they, it's they... not like that. So um, for the, something like this, for a competition, they are working on the, the design over and over. Usually like five times and uh, preferably on the same model. So they start with a picture about five months in advance and then they'll do the life size, the body size picture and then they paint on the, on the paper. And then they'll think about the composition back and forth, back and forth. And then within that five months, they will practice on someone's body uh, for about five times. <laughs> and in your experience, does it improve a lot? It has doing to, it, multiple it times has to, yes, yeah. yes. But then again, um, if the model changes, you know, maybe the last minute the model gets sick and you have to get a different model. And then you really have to think again, you know, was this the right composition? Mm. Did you want to put the the motive right in the center or is it better to put it on the side? Wow. Okay, so you just keep thinking about other things. So how have things changed? Over things changed a lot. Um, not only the size, not only the community that grow, uh, an industry grew. Um, body painting you can see now on every form of advertising in reality TV shows. You can see body painting in advertising, TV, journals, magazines, fashion shows. The film industry is using more and more the art of body painting combined with special effects. Um, so looking back now these two decades, um, I really realized that we created a whole new modern art form um, and this is what I'm very proud of, to be honest, yeah. This is the photo zone. It's usually full of photographers. Right now, I would say it's about one quarter full. Do you think attitudes to body painting has changed in 20 years? 
Um, yes, I think the attitude changed. Um, back then, um, it was seen from the public eye as either something very sexual or something very provocative. Um, it was, it's now softened down. The general public crowd kind of flattened down from their emotions that 20 years ago was like scandal probably. Now you can walk with uh, five models on the street and people would like, wow, that's cool, let's make some photos. And there is no scandal anymore. So people are very aware of this now. You see particular styles of particular artists. They always, you can see their handwriting uh, and that's beautiful. Every year uh, I, I can see some specific artworks that I fall in love with. Every year someone else, someone new coming or someone that is coming for the festival for many years already and all of a sudden he's breaking the rules. Another thing we have at the festival is these things called installations where some artists find a group of people, pick a spot uh, and then do something wacky and creative. I want that this festival is going to uh, be five times bigger in the next five to ten years than it is now. Why? Because I see the energy here. I see the interest in here. And every year we have a lot of new artists and they fall in love with these places here. We want to give artists opportunities and they should use it. And we will be, as an organizer, the connector between the arts initiatives and the body painting people. Well, that's kind of the daytime. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Um, and it's starting to get dark, but there's still plenty left to see and do. Um, so soon all the models are going to come on stage and uh, then they'll be presented and then we'll start hearing some scores and we'll discover the ranking and uh, who's won and lost. So fingers crossed for all the people you like. I don't want to happen rain <laughs> as we are an outdoor festival. I want that uh, we have enough people um, that are visiting this event so we can cover the cost of course on one side but also to produce beautiful images, beautiful emotions. I want that people come here who have never been here to see what body painting is and when they come home they just go home with a wow and I want to be back.